I'll tell you what, if everybody hears me, I might speak way bit lighter. I'm loud enough generally myself without amplification. So, uh, my name is Ron Walters Jr. If I haven't shook your hand yet, I'm sure I'll be around to introduce myself. Uh, bend my ear as much as you like. Uh, I love to hear what's going on in the county. Thank you for having me today. Again, Ron Walters running for Congress. Um, a little bit about me. My background is from Charleston, West Virginia. Uh, born and raised there, went to Fort Union Military Academy for high school. Went on to WVU for uh, finance and business. And then went on to the University of London for a master's in international management and international finance. Um, had a lot of options to stay in London. Uh, ended up wanting to come back home. Chose to come back home proudly. Uh, and it's really the reason I'm running for Congress. I think. We see what's going on in D.C. today, and as a young man, a young professional, um, I'm scared to death. I think the future of our state, the fight for the future of our state's in Congress. Um, if you look at, at how it's going right now, what with Obamacare being introduced, you know, I think we need to get in there. My insurance has been canceled. Uh, I think I'm the only candidate who can say that in my race. Um, so I felt the pain directly. I'm in health insurance. It's a disaster. I can tell you the size and magnitude of what's coming uh, is scary. Um, the debt and the deficit, the annual deficits that we run, uh, it's an unsustainable path. Um, I was reading an article today that if you're in the workforce, your share of the national debt is $106,000. I don't have $106,000, so uh, <laughs> I'm a little worried about the direction of this country. Um, I'm hoping to get to D.C., tackle the debt, tackle the, uh, the issues with regard to that, find ways to get in there, find the fraud, find the waste, and reform effectively. You know, it's not about taking things away, it's about setting it right. Uh, additionally, um, I know that, that Rome County has a lot of farmers here. I come from a farming family, actually, from the Eastern Panhandle. Like I said, I'm from Charleston, West Virginia, and I actually have coal miners on the other side. My dad, dad's side of the family is, is farmers from the Eastern Panhandle. My mother's coal miners from Mingo County. Uh, so I have, I think, the best of both worlds. I hear it all day long from either side. But, uh, you know, obviously with what's going on with the EPA, not only in the coal fields, and I don't have to tell you about that with the permitting process and the O2 emissions, uh, but additionally with what we're seeing in the farmers with runoff. We have a big problem in the Eastern Panhandle. They're coming after them. They're coming after our, our natural gas drillers with aggregation of uh, emissions on well sites. This EPA uh, is overreaching. They're interpreting laws that were never meant to be interpreted the way they are. And uh, I'm hoping to bring those regulations that they propose, especially the larger regulations, before Congress for approval. And I'll give you guys an interesting statistic. In 2012, 127 bills passed Congress. During that same time, 3,708 new regulations were introduced. So I'll ask you, who really governs this country? Is it this bureaucracy who we can't hold accountable, that we have to trust the president's going to hold in check? Obviously, that's not happening. Or is it our elected officials that run this country? So I'm hoping, again, to bring those regulations before Congress for approval. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'll be around to answer any questions that you may have of me. I don't know if you guys are doing a Q&A session right now or just on this talk. But, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions for me, I'll be around all evening. My name is Ron Walters. I hope you guys will consider me come May 13th. Thank you so much.